In this video, what I want to do is explain exactly how you can go from zero to over $10,000 per month with an eBay business in the fastest way possible. If you're new to this channel and you've never seen me before, welcome, my name is Sam, and I've been building eBay businesses now for the past 10 years. And I've been able to scale my eBay businesses from the point of me making nothing at all, every single month completely struggling, to the point where I'm now able to make over $50,000 per month, $70,000 per month, and I'm gonna break down exactly how I was able to do it. I'm gonna be going through four different things. It's gonna be some mindset things as well as some practical things that you guys need to be applying to your life right now if you wanna start seeing results and potentially make $10,000 every single month. Now, if you like this type of content, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit the bell notification. Let's get right into it. All right, so first things first, one of the things that I needed to be aware of before I was even able to make my first $1,000, even my first $100 as an eBay seller is that I needed to believe that it was possible for me to accomplish it. And the reason why I need to let you guys know this is because I get messages from people on a daily basis and they will say, Sam, I wanna sell on eBay, but I don't think it's really possible. Or Sam, I wanna sell on eBay, but isn't eBay dead? And to be honest with you, I don't blame people that think this way because 10 years ago when I first started selling on eBay, I felt the exact same way myself. But if you keep thinking that way, that's what's gonna hold you back from accomplishing great things. And it doesn't even need to be just with an eBay business. Anything you're trying to do in life, if you keep telling yourself that it's not possible for you to do it, then that's exactly what's gonna happen. You're not gonna do it. So the first bit of advice I wanna give you guys is to make sure that you get your mindset in a place where you're more optimistic than you are pessimistic. Once you're able to shift your mindset, that's when you're gonna see things happening bit by bit. So swiftly moving on to the second thing that I needed to learn for me to get to the point of making my first $10,000 every single month, which is the word investment. Now, when I say investment, this means a number of different things, but the two main things that I'm referring to is investment in terms of money and investment in terms of time. One of the earliest things that I did with my eBay business for me to blow it up was for me to invest money into stock. Now, I'm not saying that dropshipping doesn't work. Of course, dropshipping is a viable way for anyone to get started when it comes to building an eBay business. But for me, many years ago, I had to invest money into stock for me to now ship it out myself. And the reason why I did this is because I wanted to be able to offer quicker delivery to my customers. If you live in a country like the US, UK, Germany, Australia, any country that has a big eBay community within your country, then you're positioned in a way for you to build a bigger eBay business than you can ever imagine. Because you're gonna be able to import stock from China at a cheap price because you're buying in bulk. And because you live in a country where people are around you or shopping on eBay on a regular basis, you're gonna be able to get those orders out to them within one or two days. And of course, as we all know, when it comes to offering fast delivery shipping times to your customers, you're gonna be able to put your e-commerce business in a really good position. Now, of course, if you wanna get started selling on eBay, and you don't necessarily want to risk your money from day one, then this is where dropshipping is perfect because you're gonna be able to test out various different products, see whether or not eBay is something you wanna do long-term. But once you find the winning product and once you're ready to take your eBay business serious, you now need to be ready to invest money into the growth and the long-term vision of your e-commerce business, specifically your eBay business. That's what I had to do anyway when it came to me leaving my nine to five job. I had to find the winning product, make sure I did all the product research to make sure that it was definitely selling well. Then I had to find a supplier that I believed was trustworthy. Then I now had to invest around $2,000 into that product, sell every single one of them, ship them out every single day. I got back around $1,500 profit and then I reinvested everything back into the business. All right, so swiftly moving on to the next thing that I had to learn for me to be able to be in a position where I was gonna be able to maintain my sales as well as grow it to the point of me making 10K per month is that I had to build a relationship with my supplier. And there's so many different reasons why you want to do this, but one of the main reasons is that if you're able to use one supplier over and over again, they're more likely going to give you a lower price on each different item that you're buying from them, which means that ultimately you're gonna be able to make more profit. And not only do you wanna build a solid relationship with your supplier because they're gonna be able to offer you lower prices, but another reason that you want to maintain a really good relationship with them is because they're also going to be able to let you know if there's any new winning products that other sellers are buying from them that you could possibly sell yourself. And this is another thing that has helped me get to 10K per month with my eBay businesses is that my suppliers always let me know 
if there's a new winning product that I can also buy from them and start selling. However, if you're using multiple different suppliers and you're not really building a solid relationship with just one, even if a new supplier comes to you and says, this product is selling really well, you're not really gonna trust them. However, if you have a trusted relationship with them, you're gonna listen to them and you're gonna try it out and see if that new item is gonna perform well for you. But the key thing as well to remember when it comes to choosing a supplier is to make sure that you're picking a supplier that specializes within the category or the niche that your business is centered around. So let's say, for example, I was looking to start selling dog beds on eBay and I was going to sell this one and I was going to use this supplier. The first thing that I'll do is click into the supplier store by clicking on this link right here. And this is their storefront on Alibaba.com and it kind of gives you an idea of what type of items they sell. And if we just scroll down over here, as you guys can see, the main type of items they sell are pet related. They got all of these different items that are for dogs, for cats, toys, water bottles, dog beds, dog carriers, all of these different items. And I'm not necessarily gonna sell all of them right now, but even if I was just looking to sell just one of the items, for example, that dog bed, I'll make sure that I have the option to import all of these different products down the line, which is gonna help me achieve my goal of making $10,000 per month on eBay. And this now brings me on to the next thing that I had to learn when it came to me blowing up my eBay store and making the money that I was trying to make, which is that I had to add new winning products on a regular, consistent, monthly basis. So even though I had around five winning products in my store that was making me 700, maybe $1,000 per month, I made sure to add winning products every single couple weeks, every single month. Reason being is because I knew that for me to get to a position where I was gonna be able to make sales every day, I had to have multiple different products available for multiple different people to buy from within that niche. Like for example, if we look at this eBay store right here, we can see that they've sold over 11 million individual different items from the moment that they first started selling on eBay and they sell various different car parts and accessories. However, if we jump over to the Zeke Analytics competition research tool, we can see that this same eBay store was able to make $5 million in the last 30 days, which means that every single year, if they do roughly the same amount, this eBay store is bringing this eBay seller around $60 million. But the interesting thing is, if we look over here, we can see that they've got 83,000 active listings. And out of those 83,000 active listings, only 24,000 were successful. And the reason why this is important to know is because most successful businesses that we all know of, whether it's Walmart, whether it's Apple, whether it's Amazon, every single successful business in the world right now is successful because they've got multiple different products available for sale. Even Apple, I believe that they're the number one company, maybe the number two company in the entire world. Every year, they still bring out a whole bunch of new iPhones, Apple Watches, MacBooks, iMacs. Even though their previous products are still working okay, like I've got my iPhone 13 Pro over here. I'm not going to upgrade to the iPhone 14 Pro. I might wait until the iPhone 16 maybe or maybe the iPhone 20. I'm not sure. And there's people out there that are still using iPhone 4s, iPhone 5, iPhone 6. And the same thing goes with any eBay business or any e-commerce business that you're thinking about starting. You need to make sure that you're adding as many products that you can, whether you're going to import the products, whether you're going to do drop shipping, you just need to make sure that you've got multiple different products available for multiple people to buy, because that's gonna to lead to multiple different sales, which is ultimately going to get you to the goal of making $10,000 per month really, really fast. And the more and more that you're consistent when it comes to continuously learning and making sure that you're applying what you're learning to your business, before you know it, you're gonna be able to live the life of your dreams. Now, if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to press the like button. It really helps out the channel in a big way. I really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know when a new video has been released. And if you wanna sign up to a completely free webinar where I go through everything I had to learn when it came to getting my eBay store to the point of me making $3,000 every single day, then click the first link in the description down below. And if you wanna watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago where I break down the basic steps that you need to be aware of when it comes to starting an eBay business from scratch, then make sure you click the video right there. Check that video out because it's already helped out over a hundred thousand people. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.